Hello again everyone. Today we're going to be installing uh, what I'm most excited for, the part of the coolest add-on I've been wanting to install for a while now, is the Fruto Technology 28 segment bar graph. Um, I know when we all got the Hasbro wand, we were all a little disappointed about the bar graph only having five LEDs underneath. I mean, it's understandable they had to cut costs somewhere, but I'm sure we are, one day we were all hoping to finally see a proper bar graph like the one in the movie, and now finally it's here. So let's get right into the install. Okay, so there's going to be two methods you can choose from, but before we get into that, let's open up this wand. A quick recap, you're going to have to screw into four plugs in here and rip those out and then unscrew four screws underneath here. Then here, you got another four screws, one here, one here, one here, and one here. And next, you're going to take off the wave trigger. You can probably push it aside, but it would be easier to work with if you just unplugged it completely. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Remember which side is the positive for the speaker. So I have marked it. So you see the blue tape? That is my positive wire. And when you're looking down the wave trigger, once again, the terminal that's pointing towards you is the positive end. So actually you do have to unplug these speaker wires anyways because we're gonna need to take the speaker out because it's in the way. So technically you don't have to unplug a lot of these wires if you don't want to, but it would make your job a lot easier if you did. So I'm gonna unplug some of these just to make my job a lot easier. Okay, honestly, I think that's enough for now. So the first thing we need to disconnect is the existing stock bar graph. And that is the six wire ribbon cable right here. So there's gonna be six wires from blue to brown that you'll need to disconnect. And then next, you're gonna need to disconnect these four wires, the two orange ones, and then the red and black one right next to it. The orange one connects to a rumble motor that's in the back here, and the black and red wires connect to the slobo light that's right here. So we just want to disconnect them to make sure they don't get in the way and we don't want to accidentally damage those connections. Okay, now that we have prepped the wand, we can go into the two methods. Method one is completely non-destructive. It does take some finessing to get the bar graph in and some of the existing parts out. But if you don't want to damage anything more in the wand, this is the method for you. However, the clear plastic cover must remain on. So it will give you a diffused look. So if you don't mind that or you like the look, this is the method for you. For the second method, it would require some destruction. Do you see this black plastic piece here? This plastic piece is actually quite important to us because it keeps the wires uh, down and away from the barrel. So when this barrel retracts back and forth, it won't get caught on it. However, the only way to remove the bar graph cover easily is to break this plastic off. So what you can do is break that off, take out the cover, install the bar graph, and then if you're a DIY guy, you could probably figure a way to glue this back on, maybe put some extra pieces in between to bridge the two. Or you can get these 3D printed covers that we sell. And these will screw right in and replace the, the previous black piece that we cut out. So for the first method, the first thing we need to do is remove this black cover here. There are two screws, one here and one right in there. Now this one is tricky to get to. You have to come at it in an angle. But and, and another thing to note is that you see this black plastic? You can bend this quite a bit without breaking it. It's actually quite sturdy. So I, f I find that coming from this side, it's a little easier. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but it is unscrewing. There you go. And then this one will be easy. And then we need to remove this piece right here. So we're gonna unscrew this one first. Lift up the spring. 
and then remove the screw underneath. Okay, next to remove this piece, it would be easier to turn around this way. You're gonna have to finesse this out with two fingers here. And like I mentioned about this bar, this thing bends a lot. Do not be afraid to bend it as much as you need to. I mean, eventually it will snap, so you know, don't go too crazy. So knowing that, you're gonna have to use two fingers. Poke, I poked it up from the bottom. And then I'm going to bend the bar a little bit until this wiggles out. There we go. Easy peasy, right? And it looks like my bar graph already came loose, but this one comes off very easily. And that's how it looks. And now we have, now you can see it's just the clear plastic. So installing the bar graph, it would help if you snip off these two little uh, solder joint pins sticking out here. You see that right there? Yeah, it does help to snip those off to give it give yourself a little bit more room. And then you're gonna want to take this piece that you purchased from Fruit of Technology, and you're gonna see two little notches on the side there, and that is where the to the pins that you cut off. That spot here, that's where it's going to go. So this will fit in like this. Okay, so you're going to see at the front here, this little corner here, it's, it's there's a little removed section in this corner here. It's a little thinner. So this is how you want to orientate it. So actually, it's probably better to uh, remove the cables out this way. Give yourself a little bit more space. Installing the bar graph, uh, I'm going to demonstrate it with uh, another piece here that I broke off my other one. So the clear plastic in there, it actually looks like this. Of course, less damaged. And what we want to do is we're going to slide this up. And it'll be like stuck in there like this. And we're going to push up until this drops in and you push down and it should sit right there behind those two little pegs at the bottom. So let's go ahead and try that. So I got it lined up. Let's see how it looks so far. Okay, it's a little off center, not too bad. We got it partly in there. Again, remember, this thing can take it, so you can bend it a little bit. So I'm gonna bend that a little bit while pushing up. So far, I've got it lined up. Bend this piece if you need to. Stick in two fingers, move it around as best as you can. Okay, and now I'm just gonna have to push it down. So I'm bending this piece and that's allowing a lot of space for it to slide down. And let's see. Yeah, so there you go. I got it completely seated down there properly. Okay, and before we plug in the board, we're gonna wanna plug everything back together here. Make sure to feed these wires back underneath and under the bar. To plug in the bar graph, I want to take a second one here to show you since that one's inside. So this one is seated in there like this. So when you look closely, the top one here is upside down, but that says S C L S D A and then the bottom one is a positive and minus. So let's connect the bottom one first. So take your cable and we're gonna want to go underneath the black plastic. And this one, uh, there's several routes. I'm gonna go through this way, through this side, and that will connect right there, where it says 5V out between the two terminal blocks. And then you take the other end and this connects to the bottom connector. If it's hard to get into, you can use some tweezers. All right, so double check that. Make sure that the 5V out is connected to the bottom connector while the bar graph is facing this way. Next, take the other one. 
do the same thing. And this one connects right here next to the blue and yellow cable. SCLSDA. And that will connect to the top connector. Okay, and at this point, before you reconnect, you know, the barrel LEDs and your wave trigger, it's a good time to test it out just to make sure it works. This is kind of all we need to make sure everything is up and running. So let's go test it out on the pack. Okay, so I got the wand here next to my pack. It's not fully closed up or anything yet, but everything's still connected. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in. Give it a second, light it up. There you go, it works. I'm gonna do a close up. So as you can see with this method, it looks pretty good. Let me turn that down. If you don't like the black lines here, the fake bar graph lines, you can just get some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip and just rub those off. I see the bar graph does sit further back in this method and the light is diffused because of the clear, clear lens. But that looks pretty good, man. So if you like this method, this is it. You're done. Just need to close everything back up. If not, let's move on to method number two. And then this second method is going to require total and absolute destruction of your wand. No, I'm just playing. It's actually not that bad compared to the first one. The first one, it was non-destructive but it was kind of hard to get the bar graph in. This one is a lot easier to install. So first, if you're coming from method one, let's undo everything that you did. So we're gonna remove these connectors that you that come from the bar graph. And likewise, we're gonna to need to remove these four wires here just cause they're in the way. And we're gonna need to remove this cover here for the gun box. And just like we did opening up the wand, we're gonna need to remove these two pegs and then unscrew the screws underneath. So unfortunately for my version, these were glued down very, very well. So I'm pretty much gonna to have to just destroy them. So as you can see this one, I basically just destroyed and ripped it all apart. I hope you guys have better luck than I did. So now that we're in, do be careful with this slow blow light. The LEDs connected are delicate. And so from here, we're gonna start doing some cutting. So I'm gonna cut along here, here, and then here. So it depends on your snippers. It does help to twist a bit. All right, I'm gonna break out some heavy duty ones. Oh, dang, that, these are a lot easier. I just got these. Okay, so let's remove the bar graph. If you're coming from method one, put that aside. So this PCB board here, this is the LED that's on top of the gun. So let's take that off first. And then inside, you can see two screws here, one there, one there. Similar to method one, we're gonna have to unscrew this at an angle. You should make a note that the two screws that are in there are shorter than the rest. Oh, and then sorry, there's one more back here. Okay, and then remove this screw here. And then be gentle around this area because of those LED wires. You're gonna take out this here. This is the retraction barrel switch. 
I think I made a mistake earlier saying that this is the vibration switch. Uh, yeah, I was completely wrong. It's not. And then I believe there's one more back here. Okay, so I think that is it. So now I'll take some pliers and very gently just kind of see if you can lift it up. Yeah, so I got that off. Oh, my LED came off. That's okay. If your LED pops off, just put it aside as well. Okay, so take some force. All I did was bend this forward and you hear like a little bit of snap, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. And then it just kind of finesses out. And there you go. You got it all off in one clean piece. Okay, so now that we got this removed, we're gonna have to take off this part here while we're retaining this section up here. Stop right there. If you're watching this, do not proceed any further. This is Future Jono warning you of the impeding doom that you will face if you move forward with the instructions of past Jono. He made a grave error in cutting where he's about to cut. As you can see, it has left the piece scarred and damaged here. So do not follow those steps. You're gonna need this pole here for installing the bar graph. So what we need to do is cut along here instead. And while you're at it, you can cut these pegs off. You basically want to just cut off as much as this side as possible. We don't need any of that. Before installing the bar graph, we're just going to have to put these places back in. So let's just start with this one here. This will drop right back in here like, whoops, this. And then this one drops back in here like this. Make sure on the other side, you push the LED all the way back out. Okay, and then with the bar graph and this piece, if you purchase this from Fruto Technology, this will drop in like that. So let's go ahead and put this one in first. So how you wanna install this is uh, you see there's this little tab here that's, let me see if I can focus. You see this little tab on the right side. You're going to go in to the groove in there and then put place it back in. So look closely, you're going to see there's a little groove right here. So you want to go in with that end first and then place this down. And this should go over and the other side should go over top of this hole here like that so you flip over take a look and see how that sits okay that looks not bad you can take your bar graph and we're going to drop it in this way with the connectors facing towards you and finally i you're going to take this piece and, and that will go onto the piece that past john broke on his so mine's a little angled i think that's because i broke it and i don't think i had it perfectly lined back up when i reattached it but it'll look something like that and that will hold the bar graph down so now we just need to screw these two in so you can just take the two screws that were used for this cover and that's it it's installed take a look at it yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so if you haven't already tested it out, go ahead. We already did that in method one, so we know it works. So let's go ahead and reattach some of these things. So starting with the top gun box light, that will drop back. The LED here drops back right in there. And then your slow blow LED, carefully place that back on. So go ahead and go up and under the wand cage and you can reattach those. And then last, the barrel retraction switch. This one drops in, in a little groove between the slow blow and the clear plastic like this. And up and over.
And then the barrel LED can go back in as well. And then lastly, of course, the cables for the bar graph. So we're gonna start with the bottom one first, that's the power. And the power goes right there, five volt out. And then the data connection. And that goes right next to the blue and yellow wires here. So right there. Okay, so now we have everything plugged back in except for the wave trigger and we'll get Back to that later on, but first we're gonna have to install the cover that we cut off. You cut off these two pieces here. If you're a DIY guy and creative enough, I'm sure you can maybe glue it back. You can find some suitable replacement, maybe, I don't know, cardboard. As long as there's a platform here that keeps the wires from popping up and getting in the way of the barrel connector. So if you have a homebrew solution, go for it. If not, then you can get you can go with one of our 3D printed parts. These files are on our GitHub, so you can download them if you have a 3D printer and you can just purchase it from our shop if not. So to install this, you really only need one uh, screw. So I'm gonna take one of the short ones from the vent. And deep inside the body, you see there's a screw hole there and there's one there. We're gonna use those and just install one of them. So I'm just gonna place the screw in it first. You only need one. And you're gonna make sure that all these wires, except for the barrel LED three wire here, you make sure that they're all in between the two posts and just seat them in to the existing screw holes and secure it. There, it's that easy. Now you have a nice clean piece here that keeps the wires away and in the future, if you ever need to get in there again to do some other modifications, you can just easily remove this and place it back on. Okay, so now all you need to do is just close this thing back up and you already know how to do it, so I'm not gonna show you again. Oh, screw it, let's just do it real quick. So run your speakers back under and over, reseat the speaker heat sink, and reconnect the speaker wires to the wave trigger. So find your positive wire, Marked by the blue tape on mine and into this terminal closest to you or if I flip it over it's facing away from you plug it back in take one of the Kung Lao looking hat screws and that goes into the clear screw hole right here and I almost forgot this thing Another Kung Lao hat. Reattach the spring. And then secure it. Okay, that's it. Just double check all the wires, make sure they're tucked in and out of the way. Test out the barrel, make sure it clears. And if everything's good, we can go ahead and close it up, starting with the gun box. And then the body. Check to make sure all the lines are flush. Make sure nothing's pinching. And we'll go ahead and screw in the rest. forget that the one that goes at the front here is an extra long one and lastly the gun trap and that's it so let's plug this one in So method one or method two, it's up to you. Whichever way, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching, take care.